Women are constantly represented in Judaism and other religions as second-class citizens. But it's not true. You're right about that. The woman is much more spiritually aware. In order for you to achieve a complete circle between you and your creator, you must have a woman. A woman is naturally in the light. That's the way she was born. That means she's higher. She's elevated above the man. But most men don't get it. I know that this is a piece of it, and it's a piece that's actually very, very interesting. Most women, they're the ones behind the scenes who are running the show. Maybe the husband is the head of the family, but the woman is the neck. She knows how to turn. He cannot turn his head without the neck. Okay, wait, that makes a lot of sense because of what else is spoken about here. The man and the woman, they are separate entities who are meant to get together. If you do it with your soulmate, you can continue to other reincarnations. Women have been oppressed for a very long time, so now the opposite side of the extreme is coming and saying, no, but we don't need men. And it's all done by design. So I think we're heading to a disaster unless somebody's gonna rise up, take the lead, and bring the world to sanity because the world is not sane right now. Now, we might not like what we hear, but that's the facts. You mentioned soulmate. How do you know if somebody's your soulmate?